There are some brands I really like for some weird reasons. And then there's Ambush. Is it the type of brand I would wear? Well, yeah, kinda. I like some of their items, but I don't love everything about them. I love Ambush for one reason. And that reason is Yun An. I just wanna apologize from the start if I mispronounce her name. I'm really sorry. I respect her a lot. I'm sure many personal y'all cannot even pronounce my real name. So it's all good, all right? Who is Yoon An and why is she so important to the fashion industry? Yet it seems like she's not as talked about as the other big designers. Drinking break. I haven't had my coffee today. It's 9 a.m. and I'm recording this and I'm drinking this Magic Mind Productivity Shot. 100% honesty here. They send me these. I love them, that's why you're seeing them in my videos and all. It really helps me with my productivity and anxiety. That's why I'm recording a video at 8 a.m. in the morning. Nobody does that, except me. That's why I've also been so active lately. Like this is the third video in three weeks. This is thanks to the productivity shot from Magic Mind. Without it, I won't be as productive and as efficient as I am. Check the first link down in the description and on the pinned comment. That will help the channel a lot. Thank you. And thanks for Magic Mind for sending this. So, Yoon was born in South Korea. Her dad was in the military, so they moved often. So she spent most of her childhood in Seattle and then studied in Boston. She fell in love with fashion while working part-time in her local library and really numerous fashion magazines. She then decided to commit to a graphic design major. It was in 2002 that Yoon co-founded the Ambush Design Company. At the beginning, the organization was only making album covers for artists, such as Verbal, a Japanese rapper and also co-founder of Ambush Design Company. So it makes sense he's the main artist they made covers for. In 2003, Yoon moved to Tokyo, where in 2006 she will co-found a jewelry brand called Antonio Murphy and Astro. Fast forward to 2008. Ambush is taking over the world. But how? The clothing brand doesn't technically exist yet. Well, that year we saw some really big artists wear a pendant with written on it Pow! You have seen this if you're into fashion. These didn't really age well in my opinion, but I still kinda like them. Like, as a joke, I don't think I will like confidently wear these, just my opinion. But these are iconic. Kanye West and Asa Proki were two of the biggest names to ever wear these. Because of that first big success, Yoon was able to connect with other big designers such as Virgil Abloh, for example, and Kim Jones. That year, Yoon and Verbal yeah, the guy from earlier, will officially launch the brand Ambush, a high fashion jewelry brand. The success is instant for Ambush. They will collaborate with so many big brands throughout the years and that will lead us to 2018. That year, Yoon became the Dior Man Jewelry Director, thanks to or after Kim Jones, I don't remember how that went, until 2022. But we're only talking about jewelry for now. Yeah, it's all cool and all, but where are the clothes and sneakers? You know, what makes Ambush what it is today? It's interesting to see that Ambush started their brand as a jewelry brand and still does jewelry, they want to keep that part of the brand, but slowly expanded their catalog to more fashion items. Yoon did work with a lot of brands on clothes and sneakers, such as with Babe in 2010. It's in 2015 that Ambush started making unisex high fashion streetwear clothing that complements their jewelry, something that in a way became their primary market today. Ambush again became a brand you could not miss and hasn't moved from that spot since then. Okay, I know you want me to talk about the Nike collabs and all. Alright, we're gonna talk about the Nike collabs because it's probably one of the main reasons why Ambush is kind of more mainstream nowadays. Nike and Ambush. <sighs> It's a love story, you know. They love each other. From their first collaboration in 2018 to their biggest one with the dunks, you know, the pendant dunks with the big swoosh. Fucking love this. I still love them. I don't care. And the collab they did for the Women Football World Cup. We say football, not soccer. Fuck you. What do you say fuck me for? I also love that collection. The idea of promoting a fake movie, I guess, for teasing it. And the items were nice too. Overall, all of their collections have been pretty much a success. Even the Air Force collab they did, the Phantom I think it was called. I actually love those and I think they're not planning on stopping because, well, Yoon is working for Nike. It's not just a traditional collab. Yoon works with Nike every single day. They gave us some really nice sneakers and some really interesting designs. At least we can say they're not trying with their collabs, you know. There's something interesting and new every time they drop something. We may not like it every time. It's sometimes a bit special, but at least they're trying and I think we can at least give them props for that. Yoon's story is more than just another normal success story like we have 
seen, read, heard a hundred times already. In 2010, while working with Bape, she had the idea of making a bikini. But that idea was rejected because it was considered too sexy. When we were young, we all heard that fashion, clothes, all that was for girls and boys shouldn't really care about that. Weirdly enough or funny enough, most of the biggest designers ever are men. Being a woman and trying to make a name for herself, even in an industry that mainly targets women, isn't easy. Yoon moved a lot. She lived in different countries, learned new languages, met new people. She worked hard. Ambush story makes it look like the brand never had any downs and always had it easy from the start. But Yoon spent years to get to this level. She is almost 50 years old. You have time to make your dreams come true. She did. We always have time, but we need to work and we need to work now. That's why I love Ambush. Yoon's story is a really inspiring one and I wanted to share it with you. I didn't go into details about each collection and all because that wasn't the point of this video. The point of this video was just to share Ambush's and mainly Yoon's story to maybe inspire you or at least you would, maybe you would have learned something and if you already knew all this then at least you maybe had fun watching this video, I don't know. Ambush is a really good brand but it will be nothing without Yoon and her story. Thanks for staying till the end guys. Hope if you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it for sure love talking about fashion brand last time i did this it was with amy leandor video did well i loved making it i really enjoyed making this one hope you enjoyed watching it too if that's the case feel free to leave a like share comment subscribe and turn on the notification if you already didn't again thanks to magic mind for saving me all the products i love it really follow me on instagram i'm really active there and i'll see you in the next video bye